Hey, y'all. Uh, today, in honor of what would have been German Swiss painter Paul Klee's 139th birthday, Tuesday, Google's Doodle team passed together a colorful Cubist tribute for the search engine's homepage homage. It's what a wonderful day it is today, huh? Tuesday. The painter, born in Switzerland in 1879, grew up with a love and knack for music. His parents, a German music teacher and Swiss singer, inspired his early talents. At age 11, Klee received an invitation to play violin as a member of the Bern Music Association. After playing in the symphony orchestra as an accomplished violinist, Klee turned to painting. As a musician, he played and felt emotionally bound to traditional works of the 18th and 19th century. But as an artist, he craved the freedom to explore radical ideas and styles. That's according to Klee's official biologic, biographical website. Excuse me. Still, he brought his musical sense of rhythm to the visual arts. Google noted in its blog, he studied dots, lines, planes, and forms observed from nature, whether from the fish tank he kept at home or the veins seen on leaves or the human body, applying his observations to a vast body of work. In fact, in his lectures at the German art school, the artist was known to compare the visual rhythm and drawings to the structural percussive rhythms of a musical composition by the master of counterpoint, John Johann Sebastian Bach. As an early teen, Klee began sketching landscapes and characters, focusing on many years on his drawing squeals. It wasn't until 1911 when Klee met Wazali Kangadinsky, Franz Mark, and August Macker of Der Blau Reader, an influential circle of artists, that he became engulfed in the world of modern art and experimentation. Klee's work was even included in the second Der Blau Reiter expedition in 1912 along with renowned artists Pablo Picasso, Robert Delaunay, and Georges Braquet. His relationships with Delaunay and a trip to Tusinia in 1914 helped influence his experimentation with abstraction and color. After the trip, Klee painted several abstract works based on his watercolor landscape paintings of the North African country. When World War I broke out, Klee remained reserved in his opinions, but enthusiastically accepted a position on the Executive Committee of Revolutionary Artists when a communist government was declared in Munich, according to the art story. He went on to teach at Bauhaus in 1920 before leaving for an art academy in Dusseldorf 10 years later. In 1922, Klee produced one of his most famous works, Affected Place. Unfortunately, when Hitler was named Chancellor of Germany in 1933, Klee was denounced as a Galician Jew and a cultural Bolshevik and returned to Switzerland with wife Lily Stumpf after losing his teaching position at Dusseldorf. Just a couple of years after his return, Klee became ill with progressive scheloderma, a rare disease that involves the hardening and tightening of the skin and connected tissues. According to the art story, Klee's creative resurgence between 1937 and 1939, with many of his later works dealing with the grief and pain, resilience, and acceptance of approaching death. Some will not recognize the truthfulness of my mirror, Klee wrote in his diary. Let them remember that I'm not here to reflect the surface, but must penetrate inside. My mirror probes down to the heart. The artist died on June 29, 1949 in Locarno, Switzerland. His work will go on to influence painters all over the world, from John Dubuffet in Europe to New York's abstract expressionist and color field painters Jules Olitsky and Helen Frankenthaler. Uh, yeah, that's another video. I figured if Google took the time to honor this individual who would have been, would have been 139 years old today, that uh, you know, I should make a video about him. So I hope y'all enjoy it. A little history, a couple facts, some facts mixed in there about this great renowned artist who uh, experienced his, you know, his uh, his hardship as well. But like he said, let them remember that I'm not here to reflect the surface, but must penetrate inside. It's deep. I'm going to leave that right there. Y'all think about and ponder on. Peace out, y'all.